Right, so we're now going to add to this page a little bit and we are going to basically just define our page as you might find it. Uh, obviously you don't need to do this but I'm going to go ahead and create what you would normally find here. And we'll give this a title, say just website or something like that. Okay, so inside of the body of this document, what we need to do is check if the user's currently signed in or logged in or whatever you want to call it. If they are not, we are going to provide them with a sign in link. Um, and that's, we've already seen that. Otherwise, we're just going to say you are logged in and we're going to give them a link to the logout.php page, which we'll create later. So let's start to do this here. We are going to create an if statement. So we're going to say if not auth is logged in. Now we don't have this method set up at the moment, so we will get an error here. So let's quickly do that now. So inside of Google auth, let's create our is logged in or is signed in. I can't remember what I called it. Is logged in. Um, so basically what this is going to do is it's going to check if the session is set with the access token. So all we need to do really here is return uh, the result of the is set function and we just pass in the session and we're going to call this access token. So this is where we're going to be storing the Google access token when we retrieve it from the API. But for now this will return false because it's not set. So if that's the case, we know we can just do an else here as well and we'll do an end if. So if this is not set we're going to say sign in with Google so this here is going to be the link to the Google um, basically the link to the account verification so we need a method to be able to actually retrieve this so I'm going to echo out here auth and we're going to call this get auth URL so this will get the URL that we saw earlier so again, this isn't defined, so let's do this here, public function get auth URL. So now we can actually start to see whether our client is responding and working. We need to request a, an auth URL. So here, all we need to do is return this client. So we're now accessing the stored client information or the stored uh, client link. And we use the create uh, auth URL method. So let's check if this is working. Okay, I might have had a session still set from earlier. So let's just head over to here and we'll get rid of a couple of them. Cool. Okay, so I had a session set from earlier. So now we have a link saying sign in with Google. We can inspect this element and you can see that that um, long link that uh, we saw earlier has been generated for us. So we can click this now and go through. Now, if we have the redirect URI set to something different, this will give us an error at this point. So you know then what the error is. And Google is quite explicit in telling you what the problem is. So it's quite useful. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, we'll just fill in what's going to happen if we don't. Uh, we're just going to say sign out. And here we'll say you are signed in. And the sign out will go to logout.php. But we'll call this, uh, well, I'll just call it sign out. Okay, so. Now what we need to do is actually start to look at bringing in some methods that are going to check whether the redirect code from Google has been provided. So what we can actually do is before we even start to touch this is click sign in with Google. We can accept this. Now you can see that we have this code that's been generated and passed back with the request back to our redirect URI that we've provided. So what we can do is we can use uh, the get super globals to pick up whether this code is set or not. So let's just get rid of this for now and we'll start to build this method and we're going to check for this here. Now it's important to note we're checking for this here on the index page. If we're, if we're checking for this anywhere else you will have a different page name. You may in fact want to create up a, a page separately just to check this uh, code that's been passed back because really what we're doing here is we're mixing all the logic with the output it'd probably be better just to have a separate file to do this but we'll do it all here just for the sake of being quick so we're going to create an if statement here and this is going to check um, if the redirect code is uh, available so auth check 
redirect code. This is going to be our own method. We'll build this in in a moment. Um, in here, what I'm going to do is just kill the page and I'm going to say dollar underscore get code. And basically uh, that will just obviously show us the code. So we can use check redirect code to check it. And let's go ahead and build this. So public function check redirect code. So there's a little bit more to do in this one, but still not too much to do. The first thing we want to do is check if the code in the get super global is available. If it is, then we can authenticate using this code. So we say this client, so we're now accessing the Google client and we're going to say authenticate and then we're going to pass that in. So that's now said, right, we've had a request back from Google. We're now passing this code that's been generated on Google's end back through to Google to verify. So now what we can do is we can actually set this token in a session. However, uh, we also want to return true here and we want to return false outside of here uh, in case this is not set. So now let's test this out. So sign in with Google, accept. And there we go. We've killed the page and we've output the token. So we now know we can actually use this. OK, so now we are going to do a couple more things. We want to actually set the token um, which we haven't looked at yet. The token's not the same as the code. Uh, we need to use the get access token method on the Google client to retrieve the access token. So we're going to say this set token. This is going to be our own method. So let's just set this up quickly down here. Public function set token. So we're going to set token. What do we want to pass through? What do we want to pass through a token? Where does this token come from? Well, it comes from the client because that's generated. We, we can't generate this ourselves. So we get the access token. We pass it through to set token. Now inside of set token, we want to go ahead and set access token. Remember that thing we're checking for here. And we want to set that to the token. Now we also want to set the access token uh, via the client as well. So we're going to say this client set access token token done so we're now effectively just signed our user in because we've got a token back and that's it so let's check this whole thing out uh, but instead of just killing the page here we want to do something a little bit more useful we want to do a header redirect so we're going to say location and just back to the current page obviously if this was in a separate file it would just redirect your user back to the uh, front of your application. So sign in with Google. I'm going to click accept. That will redirect me back with the code, redirect me, and I'm now signed in. And obviously the reason we get this is because here we're checking is logged in, which is checking if that's if that uh, session set. So uh, that's pretty much it for actually authenticating uh, with the user. We've checked whether uh, the code has been returned from Google after we've generated the auth URL. We've then uh, authenticated with that code. We've generated a token and we've stored it in a session.